And the U.S. and the Russian military chiefs of staff met in Helsinki for the first time in 20 months on the agenda was the Afghan security situation as Washington hopes for the support to continue surveillance of extremists in Afghanistan. Now, the chairman of the U.S. Joint Chiefs of Staff General Mark Milley met with Chief of Russian General Staff General Valery Gerasimov and the first time since, this is the first time since December 2019. Now, Colonel Dave Butler, spokesperson for Milley, said, and I'm quoting here, the meeting was a continuation of talks aimed at improving military leadership, communication between the two nations for the purposes of risk reduction and operational deconfliction. He gave no further details about this. The meeting came as the Pentagon is searching for locations on Afghanistan border to maintain surveillance of the jihadist groups Al-Qaeda and the Islamic State in the wake of the U.S. withdrawal from the country after 20 years. Concerned about the resurgence of both groups, the U.S. military has said that it will maintain an over-the-horizon capability to strike them if a threat is perceived. But that would be easier if the Pentagon is able to operate out of a more one or more of the countries north of Afghanistan where it had bases in the early 2000s like Uzbekistan, Tajikistan, Kyrgyzstan, these are the places. Now currently the US military does not have access to any of the Central Asian countries for such operations. However, Russia does have its bases in the region and considers under its own sphere of influence. Now another issue here which would have figured in the Milly Jurasimov talk is Ukraine. Meanwhile, the United Nations aid chief has also announced the release of $45 million in emergency funds to help prevent Afghanistan's battered healthcare systems from collapsing. Martin Griffiths, the UN's Under Secretary General for Humanitarian Affairs and Emergency Relief Coordinator, has warned in statements prior to this as well that medicines, medical supplies and fuel are running out in Afghanistan. Cold chains are compromised at this point. The essential healthcare workers are not being paid. Griffiths has also said allowing Afghanistan's healthcare delivery system to fall apart would be disastrous. Afghanistan's healthcare system was plunged into crisis after the Taliban swept into power last month, complicating aid deliveries and leaving many health facilities understaffed. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.